Some people may say living for God is difficult and I believe it is difficult but I believe it is worth it. I think it is easier to live for God than to not live for God. For myself, yes, I may not have as much money as I did. I may not be able to do some of the same stuff I did in the past. I may not be able to mess with in a bad way with many women in a bad way. I may not be able to go to bars or dance bars, whatever they are called. I may not be able to do many of the things I did in the past, but I think it's worth it. Like for me personally, my life is so much easier, easier now that I believe I am living for God. Like I don't have to worry as much. I don't have to be anxious. Well, I don't have to worry unless I choose to. I don't have to be anxious unless I choose to. If I go through a problem, even if it seems like it is something I can't solve, I can depend on God. I don't have to constantly, I guess, think about what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So in essence, I believe I have more peace. Also, I believe I am becoming a better person. Living for God may be difficult, but I think it is so worth it. I like you know, I may not be really popular or really cool or whatever else, but I like the way I am becoming. I like the way I am, even though I need to change more. I like the direction my life is going. Like, it seems like I actually have a purpose. Are you in life now and do you feel like there is no purpose? Maybe what you should do, maybe, how can I say this? Maybe if you feel that way, maybe it is because you are not living for God. I believe God gives us a purpose when we choose to live for him. Actually, I think we all have a purpose, but if you are living outside of him, if you understand what I am trying to say, if you are living outside of him, maybe you are not fulfilling your purpose. What is this? All right. I think my life is so much better. Like, I think there are some times, how can I say this? I believe God uses people to reach others. And I think that is what God is doing with me. I think he is using me to reach some others. I think that is a wonderful thing if it is the case. Yes, my life may not seem <laughs> very exciting, but how things are now, how can I say this? I would not want to trade how my life is 
with how it was in the past. Like, I believe God can give you a joy that you probably can't even achieve on your own. I did things in my past that I thought I wanted. You know, I messed with women. I, I guess I used to dress nice. <laughs> Bought shoes and all that stuff there. You know, I did things I thought I would enjoy. And even with all of that, it was like empty. Like, it really did not really fulfill me much or at all. But what I feel fulfilled in, I guess I can say, is living for God. I am happy about it. Yes, I may receive bad dreams. Yes, people may speak to me in a very bad way and many of the time I think I accept it. As in not retaliating in a bad way. Even though I may go through some hard and or bad times, I like this type of life. I like getting better. I like sometimes <laughs> helping people and them telling me that what I told them is helping and if they are changing, I think that is a very amazing thing. I like depending on God. And you may ask, do I depend on God for everything? Maybe, I'm not sure, but I can say, I believe I can say I depend on God for many things, for many things. And not having to worry about something day in and day out is wonderful. So much peace. So much joy. Yes, there are times when I cry. Yes, Uncle Kev cries. Believe it or not. I cry. Sometimes I get mad. Sometimes whatever else. But from how I was in the past to how I am now, I think is a huge difference. Huge, I think. I like this type of life. I like being able to tell some people about God and if they are were to act upon it and if they were to tell me it is helping them, I think that is a very great thing. You may look at, well, Kevin, I have to change, you know, trying to obey God's rules are hard. You know, it is easier to stay in sin. I believe you think it is easier to stay in sin. Maybe you are not looking at the total picture. Maybe you aren't reading the Bible much. Because if you were to, I think you would see that living in sin, I think, is worse. Harder, I think, than living for God. I believe we are going to reap what we sow. So if you are reaping based upon the bad things you do in life, how is that easier than living for God? If I am going to go through problems, let me go through the least amount of problems. If I have to feel pain, let me go through the least amount of pain. Let me not go through the maximum amount of pain. 
you may believe living for God is harder than living in sin because probably, probably it is ignorance, which I was ignorant of it in the past, I believe, as well. I think if you fully surrender yourself to God and stay with it, and stay with it, I think as time, God will, I think God will increase you in knowledge and you may begin to see and understand, wow, why didn't I come to God earlier? But if you, if you don't really place much time into God and just go off of, I guess, your random thoughts about what you believe living for God is about, I think you will and may hesitate in trying to live for God. So live for God, stay in it, and I believe your understanding will increase. I think so. I like how this, I like how living for God is. I believe there is security in living for God. Is God going to take away all of your problems? Will he do something to where you will never go through anything else hard in life ever again? I don't think so. But I think it is a lot better than living in sin. Am I saying this only to just encourage you to live for God? That is not the only reason, but what I am saying, I believe it is the truth. Yes, you know, sometimes I guess I receive some thoughts to do bad things, you know, to fornicate and cuss folks out and do this and do that. But is it worth it? If I am going to reap what I sow, is it worth it? Sometimes I think some people seem to be so mean to me that I want to put them in their place in a mean way. But is it worth it? Is it worth stealing? Is it worth selling drugs? Is it worth, worth beating on people, adults? Is it worth it? I don't think so. Is it worth yelling at people? Is it worth it? Yelling, I guess I can say yelling in a bad way to be disrespectful. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I am telling you, if you give your life to God, and stay in it, stay in it, no matter how many times you fail, no matter how many times you have thoughts about giving up, if you stay with it, I believe you will enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yes, I get mad. Yes, I get sad, but overall, I am happy with living, living for God. Yes, I think it took a while for me to adjust to it. I believe so. But now that I am in it, it is great. It is amazing. Honestly, I think it is the best there is, this type of life. So before you judge it and say it is boring, Kevin, you know... Um, living for God is only for old people, try it. Stay in it and experience it. Read your Bible. Me, I have a Bible reading partner. And as we read, I believe we learn so much. I think we make so many mistakes in life because of, I think, ignorance.
because maybe we did not know or did not understand. Read your Bible. Yes, it may be boring to read, but take it bit by bit. Maybe read a scripture a day. Maybe three scriptures a day. You know, don't read it just to read it per se. Read it to try to understand. Take your time. Me and my partner, reading partner, take our time. We don't really try to read the whole Bible in one year. No, we are taking our time. So let me stop here. God bless you.